comeback player this year. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be biased. I, I'm going to say Jay Wall. I think Jay Wall's one of the best players in the world. And this year, the way the passing attack is, um, with it being a lot more horizontally spread, I, I, it suits the way he plays the game super well. Um, especially Jay Wall's also taking this first semester off of college. So he's focusing all on Madden. He's going all in. And we saw at the end of last year when he went all in at Madden uh, in LCQ, he did really well. So I'm biased. Obviously, I'm friends with him. But I think he's going to have a really, really good year. I, I, I do. I really do. Ghost, I think, is another example of that. Uh, mm-hmm. Someone who had kind of a bad, uh, not, not a very good last year. Game didn't fit him. Yeah, yeah really. Like, like, that's what it is. Like, game didn't fit Ghost last year, if it seemed like. This year, it does. So you have to be expecting him. Well, when I, I, I asked that question for because we happen to switch to this game. These are the two guys that I have my eye on this year to make sure. big runs. On one hand, you've got young Spoto. It's not that he didn't have a good Madden 20, but he took the year off. And he's yeah. somebody who has said he's going to be competing this year, especially in this COVID world where a lot of colleges, they're not going back. They're going to be online. Spoto had a strong finish to Madden 19, a pass-heavy game, uh, and a strong finish to Madden 20. We saw him here in Players Lounge make some great runs. And on the other hand, you look at Blocky, who was so consistent in Madden 19, made all four majors, had two final four appearances. Uh, this was a guy who people expected in Madden 21 to take that next step and possibly win a belt. Madden 20 comes out, a run-heavy game. Blocky, not a runner. He's a defensive player. He likes passing the ball. Now he's coming into Madden 21 where he can utilize his strategy defensively and pass the ball. These are two guys that I would not be surprised to see both of them in a final at some point this year. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. And, and one big thing about it, too, is that Spoto lives a lot on defense and really being able to out adjust the opponent. You saw that when he was making his runs, you know, he played really, really good defense in the Madden 19 uh, Madden Bowl, right? It, this is a game where I was just speaking about, I feel like it's very a good, good defensive players will shine. And if Spoto, assuming he's able to, you know, compete at a high or put the time in while going to school, because I know he is doing that, um, he, he should have a good year, I think. He's setting himself up to have a very good year. Like the game right now, Nick. Suits how he plays. Same with Blocky. Blocky being a passive player. The game suits how both of those guys play. We got a scoreless game in this one between Spoto and Blocky. Spoto with those Arizona Cardinals. A team we said, said we said two weeks ago, this was a team that we expected to see get some regs play because you got Kyler Murray, you've got that defense, young, hungry, Justin Simmons, Buda Baker, uh, and uh, now you've got a, an interesting uh, wide receiver addition in D-Hop. And by the way, Kenyon Drake, I believe out of box, uh, 82 overall, somebody correct me on that, 82 overall running back with 91 speed. Uh, this is a very viable team in regs. Oh, yeah, no, they're really, really, really good. Uh, Kyler Murray, obviously a skate artist. He's like 90 speed or something like that. And he also has the ability called quick draw, Nick, which I don't know if uh, people probably aren't super familiar with it right now, but it's basically when you're under pressure and you get that ball out faster, it's huge. It is absolutely huge to get that ball out and avoiding the throw out of sacks that some people have some complaints about. This is the ability that directly helps counter that. It won't be 100%, obviously, but these Cardinals are really, really good, in my opinion. By the way, I don't know if you saw the photo. But uh, at Giants training camp, they had every defensive back tape tennis balls to their hands so that they would be they couldn't hold. <laughs> what? Like so what? they so they don't pick up holding patterns. They're trying to get them away from grabbing, and they're trying to teach them better defensive technique. Uh, I mean, I That's about as clever as it gets. A way to to That's try fair. to cut down penalties. That's fair. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. I missed the left trigger X slide. Uh, sliding in this game has always been a, <laughs> a dice roll. Yeah. Um, It'll take some getting used to. Yeah, yeah, it will. But just make sure one thing you don't do, guys. If you're in the open field, don't hit LT. No. Don't, don't do that. I fumbled a couple. I, I've been angry. <laughs> you, you, you had the accidental fumble? I've had a couple accidental fumbles. I'm like, Ugh! Whoops. I was like spazzing a little bit. And there's some change, and this is every Madden ever. Has, I think every Madden has some sort of controller change. Yeah. Everyone complains about it for about a week, then you get yeah. used to it. Like people don't, Nick. People forget that last year, like they changed all the controls last year too. For the first mm-hmm. month, no one could quick adjust on defense, and then people got used to it. You, you like, it, sure, it's annoying, whatever. Just deal with it. You'll get used to it. Muscle memory. Just do it. Oh, first and ten. Spoto with the ball against this vaunted 49ers defense, and he'll find Andy Isabella right up the seam. Love a little quick throw to Andy I to the 33-yard line. 
Oh, and Nick, also, they're not in regular... Oh, Spogel's not in regular Gun Bunch. He's in Gun Bunch Offset. There's a couple of plays that I like out of it. There's a stock play called... Uh, it's like Double Post. It's yep. really, really, really good. It, it beats man super well, which is obviously one of the better defenses right now, especially it, especially in Mutt. Um, and it's just a great job against that. So I don't know how long Bunch Offset's going to stay, uh, like if people are going to stick with it, because I know beginning of last year, some people messed around with some other stuff and then eventually went back to Bunch. Uh, but it's kind of cool. Second and 10, back to work on offense, nearing the two-minute warning. Murray, rolling right, might have him over the middle, looking for D-Hop to the two-yard line, diving, catch. That's why they gave up absolutely nothing to bring in that man. Just a hell of a, a, hell of a steal for the Cardinals. <laughs> you know David Johnson, man. It's not, it's not like a pickpocket steal. It's like walking out of Best Buy with two TVs and an Xbox in your pocket. Like, it's that kind of steal. Yeah, just waving goodbye. Stop me if you can. Yeah. No, it's waving goodbye, and the Best Buy employees go, Goodbye, friend. Enjoy your two TVs <laughs> and <an> Xbox. <laughs> and there's Edmonds up the middle. He'll get into the end zone, fights through the traffic, and finds his way for six. Touchdown. First touchdown of this game going to Young Spoto. Yeah, I want to see Blocky. I'm guessing Blocky's also in this uh, in the bunch offset instead of the regular bunch. Uh, but I haven't got a chance. I'm also curious. I'm surprised Blocky is the. It, he, I'm surprised he's the Niners. Usually, he's more of a mobile quarterback type of guy. I was expecting the Chiefs from him, or maybe the Seahawks, or something like that. Uh, but he decided to go with the Niners, so he's going to be sticking in the pocket. He does have that route come from George Kittle, probably the best tight end in the game. Can we talk about the biggest announcement of the day, though? I mean, I know everyone in the chat's been clamoring to talk about this, and we're going to talk about it. McDonald's launching a spicy chicken nugget. Can we talk about that for a second? They are? Yep. First new chicken nugget flavor in 40 years. Oh, my God. That's actually big. That's like doing a spicy chicken nugget. Huh. And by the way, they're also adding a Chips Ahoy McFlurry, which sounds great, but we know the ice cream machine is broken anyway, so we're never going to get to try it. All the time in the world, and Nelson's going to make the catch. Oh, and do push-ups. Push Look at him do push-ups off that's that awesome. one. I'm sorry. That's awesome. Can we talk for a minute, though? Like, Spoto's user right there, he was on Isaiah Simmons, I believe. Like, it, it was good. Like, it looked good. It looked clean. What up, Shanks? Screamer off the edge, and Jimmy G throws out of that sack, gets it to the halfback, and then the halfback gets gored like he's running against Rhino. Hey, Just Greatness in the chat. Hey, Just Greatness. I played him. Uh, he actually knocked me out of DreamHack. I'm still upset about that, Just Greatness. Jimmy G dropping back on second and 10. Blocking is good, looking for the wheel. He's got Debo, two feet and bounce. Down to the four-yard line, an absolute dot from Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, that's a hell of a catch. That is one hell of a catch. The sideline animations feel cleaner. Yeah, no. I, There's I, Mostert I, into the end zone. I, I, I knew he was going to score. Carry on. <laughs> Nick, it seems like this year, especially right now, if you're inside the five-yard line, you just run the ball three, four times, you're probably going to get in. With the reaches, you're probably going to get in. Until somebody finds around defense. Do you guys want a giveaway? Nah. Some people say no in the chat. Oh, Justin said no. Justin, no first. giveaways, please. Okay, guys, none. We're We're done. We're done. Sorry, Justin said no. So uh, because of that, we're having no more giveaways tonight. And if you don't like it, you can DM uh, Justin here on Twitch. That's uh, two S's, five N's. No, 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 no. First and 10 for Spoto. Now this game tied up. Only minutes to go in the first half. And I'll dump this off underneath. Oh, Nick, I got to say this. This actually like really upsets me. I, I can't believe they actually kept it like this. If you look, when someone has more than three abilities... I hate the way like it shows up on the field. I feel like it's such like a, a clunky, like just mumbled, Foster, jumbled, yeah. Like right, like it just, it just seems so like uh, I, I don't like. It. I feel like there's just like there's so much like cleaner ways to display it than uh, I hate it. And I'm not one to complain about presentation, but God, like that's bad. Yeah, Justin might have to take a lap. I'm just saying. Give him some laps. Siv, Siv, control your guy. I can't. 
You can't, oh can't control him. Oh, what a pass on the fade to Isabella with 130 seconds to go. Spoto dialing up a connect the dots dot to Andy Isabella. This formation has a stock fade on the outside. That's hell. It's oh. like taking notes right now. I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, yo, that's kind of hell, actually. I'm, <laughs> dang, that's good. Justin lives five hours away from me. I will drive, Justin, I will drive to Vandy and put you in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's just like, that's the thing too, Nick, what you just mentioned, like, there's a lot of stuff, like, I, the game's only been out for a couple days, so I've only been able to do so much. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things I just haven't seen yet, so it's cool seeing new stuff. Like, that's new this year. It's, it's cool. So you heard it here first. If Civil wins anything this year, it's because he's cheating by watching everyone else. I'm cheating because I get to commentate the tournaments. Yep. And steal, and steal other pro player schemes. Garoppolo looking right side. Ooh. He's got Pettis with the catch in front of the defender. Went for the hit stick and whiffed. Oh, yeah, he went right. Ah, oh, if he gets a hit stick, probably not holding on to it either. Someone's Xbox turned on. I'm not sure who it was. Oh, one of my friends just got it. Oh! Did you, you get the message? Yeah, I got a little notification. Free free mutt coins? That's the messages I always get. <laughs> like, free mutt coins. All you have to do is send me your credit card number. I'm like, hmm, interesting. No, but on my YouTube, I'm getting a bunch of, like, these uh, girl bots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just uh, spamming. <gasps> picked. Oh, who is it? It's the rookie. Simmons going the other way. One time for Spoto. Isaiah Simmons, the rookie out of Clemson making plays. Dude looks huge, by the way. Yeah, no, big players look freaking huge this year. And he's that linebacker. You just saw Nick, you just saw him get up. Obviously, he's a big dude, but last year he still probably isn't gonna pick that off. It's so I love that linebackers are animating right now. And given the fact that users did get nerfed a little bit, like, that's so huge to me. That's so freaking important. You heard it here first, guys. Don't complain. Just shut up and enjoy it. First and yeah, guys, just, yeah. Just don't touch the game for a second. Let us let us play for a second. Little wheel route to Kenyon Drake to the 40-yard line. Be a 57-yard kick from here. And Spoto saying, I'm going to try to make this one. Kicking ain't easy, though. Ooh, but that yeah. one was dead center as long as it has the leg, which it does. One tick on the clock. Spoto opens up a 10-point lead. I'm actually – that was a really good kick. He got that perfect both places. Good for Spoto. Yeah, see, I, I get all those uh, uh, I get all those girl bots on Facebook. They see my face and they go, he probably would click on one of these links. <laughs> Once you click on four or five of them, you learn. Ooh, we got – we're rolling. Who won it? T Kershaw 86, 15 buccarinos. Nice. Uh, as long as she's following. That's all, and well, yeah, and he has a PL account. As long as he has those two things. Yeah, is, uh, is Spoto going to teach you how to kick the ball? See the special teams guy? Yeah, apparently. It looks like he might be the special teams guy. I need him to teach him how to punt. I'd be shanking punts really bad. Punting's hard. He's following. Yeah. Yay. Good job. Keekers Hall, 86. Spoto has ball right now, too, Nick. He's up 10. It's not looking good for, for the block guy. Oh, my gosh. He's so fast, Nick. Look how fast Kyler is. He's so fast. Fast. Uh, Sodak, you asked what ability D Hop has. D Hop has red zone threat, short in elite, and mid in elite. So basically, like any ball over the middle that's like below 20 yards, he's going to catch if he gets his hands on. His X Factor is also double me, which pretty good. Pretty good X Factor. <gasps> it's not bad. It's a solid one. Richard Sherman showing off his abilities. Second and 10. 10 point lead for Spoto and the ball. An opportunity to really put this one out of reach. Well, you know, touchdown puts it out of reach. Field goal makes it tough, but obviously, two possessions. <gasps> uh, that was inaccurate. Yes. Can confirm. That one almost got picked off. Make a little diving action.
Oh, did he get there? They're going to give it to him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I swear, yeah, anything fine. close, they're giving it. I'm okay with that because I, I don't know about you. I felt like in Madden 20, everything close was inches. Like the number of inches to go was way more than any NFL game. It's like everything was at third inches. As long as for me, like the biggest thing, Nick, is as long as it's pretty consistent, you know what I mean? Like they're not okay. like going crazy one way, like they're not like flip, flip flopping. Like just be consistent. I don't care either way. Yeah, Ditch, no more inaccurate quick throw. People are excited yes. about that one. <laughs> The masses are righty. They want their inaccurate quick throws back. They want to send eight. There's no defense without it. Andy Isabel, a little drag route. And you're already seeing the locomotion on short routes is just so much cleaner. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You saw right there Fred Warner. He should not have 